In this TI basic tutorial, I'm going to show you loops. There are two kinds of loops that I'm going to show you. Um, there's the while loop, and then there's the for loop. The while loop keeps on looping forever until or while something is true. I'll give you an example. Um, and true it mean it means the same thing as one, and false means the same thing as zero. So let's get something like let's get the store character and let's store five and two b and then we're going to say while b is less than ten end you always end your loops and everything with an, the word end so while b is less than ten store b or display b then store into b b plus one so what it's going to do it's going to loop constantly loop while b is less than ten and and so, so that for the first time it's going to display b and then b is going to change to six then it's going to go back up but b is still less than ten so it's going to display b again it's going to keep on doing that until b is not less than 10 anymore. So let's save this. Load file. Now let me launch it. As you can see, it gives us five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because first B was five, and so it wrote five. Then it was six, then it was seven, then it was eight, then it was nine. Then it hit ten. It um, B was not less than ten anymore. It was equal to ten, so the loop ended. So that's a while loop. The next loop is a for loop. Um, for loops work like this. Um, you say for, and then in parentheses. Um, let me see where they're on the calculator. On the calculator, when you're in, let me see, programs, edit, you want to click the program button, and you should see your for loop is under program, and so is your while loop. There, it's under program. So for, and I want to say, I'll show you it first i to 10 um n dis i i'm going to show you it first and i'll explain it As you can see, it wrote um, one through. Or wait, let me write the, do that again. It's hard to see, but it's writing two to ten. Because how the for loop works is first you give a variable, let's say i, and then you give the variable a value, and I say two, and then it's going to keep on increasing by that value. Um, until it gets to 10, I meaning it's going to loop through this 9 times. It's going to do 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then once it gets to 10, the loop's going to end. But every time it loops, I... So basically it's looping until I gets to 10 starting from 2. And I... Um, and the variable I, I displayed it each time so you can see that. So if I go to my calculator and edit hello, and I change this one to 6, and then quit, program run this, see it's going to start at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Because this is where, this is where, think of it like this. Here's your variable, here's the starting point, and here's the ending point. Every time it does this loop, i is going to increment by 1. 
and once I get to the ending point, the loop ends. So that's how you do four loops. Um, so you have two kinds of loops I showed you, at least. You got while, that will check if something's true. And remember how I said one means the same thing as true and zero means the same thing as false? If you write while one, that's basically saying while true, and true is always true. So this is an endless loop right here. Just thought I'd say that. Um, and that's a for loop. And so another thing you can do is if you want an endless loop that can be broken, you could say like while b, and I can set b equal to 1, and then somewhere in this loop, if I ever set b equal to 0, it will break the loop. So that's um, just two basic loops, for and while loops. I just realized I had clear draw at the top, that should have been clear home, but it didn't really matter. 